guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg, and that is one drop dead gorgeous 1968 Mustang Resto Mod. There's a Coyote power plant underneath the hood. She's hooked up to a five speed. That is a Gen 3 Coyote, too. Those babies make a little over 460 horsepower, and she is running great, looking even better. Love the driving lights and the grill. All the ground effects here, all looking sweet. All those stripes follow right down, just looking absolutely beautiful. And the paintwork on it is just absolutely gorgeous. Body work on the car, sharp as can be. Whoever laid down this uh, metallic gray did a beautiful job. And then this black actually has metallic in it also. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. Love the hood scoop on it also. Nice and tight down there, looking beautiful, man. And you take a look at all these lines. See how sharp everything is? Just gorgeous. The workmanship on the car is just out of the sight. The stance on it's killer. The chrome wheels, those are the GT40 style wheels. Just looking beautiful. The ground effects, the fender flares, the door fitment, the side exhaust. And man, is she gorgeous. And check out this interior. We got black interior in here, looking sweet. Now the texture you see on the door here, that actually came from the factory like that. That texture's in the metal. We got the wood steering wheel. We got our five-speed shifter. We got our custom seats with the five-point harnesses in there to strap you in. We got seat belts in the back. Looks like we got speakers in there also. We got the Shelby roll bar in there. Looking beautiful. And of course, we got Carol Shelby's signature over there on the passenger side. Check that out. I'll tell you what, Carol Shelby signed a bunch of stuff. Center console is looking sweet. I mean, everything about this car. I guarantee you, wherever you take this car, you're going to have somebody following you, want to know something about it. She is gorgeous. Then, of course, we got the quick fuel fill, just like you used to run back in NASCAR back in the day. And then just check out the way the bumper and everything fits here. How that thing's been tucked and shaved, just looking beautiful. Got the key here in my back pocket. But the key does not open the trunk. I believe there's a uh, handle in here. There we go. All right, we got beautiful fuel tank in there. It looks like it's all stainless steel. See how it's hooked up to the uh, NASCAR style uh, fuel fill there, looking sweet. We got Optima battery in there. They got a nice coating on the bottom side of the deck lid. And just look how nice everything fits. All the body lines are looking sweet. Then as you look down the side, man, doesn't this thing look sweet? Just love the look of the car. Looks like it's going fast sitting still. She's got big old fatties on the back and we'll look at those real close when we get this baby up on the lift. That's what happens to every car here at Vanguard. We take in every car, put it up on the lift, we inspect it, we take pictures and we do a video of the bottom side of it, which you're gonna see here in just a minute. badass Mustang for a ride, baby. You guys all know I love Mustangs. I like the new ones. I like the old ones. I like them all. And yeah, I like the ones you don't have to shift. I like that seven speed dual transmission, dual clutch, I should say. But I really like this one, man. If you can't tell, we were spinning the tires there a little bit. <laughs> this thing is sweet. I love it tell you what, everybody's going to be proud of this one when you take them for a ride. Get around the corner here. 
I mean, she's driving good. I'm downshifting through all the gears, feeling good. I tell you, she sounds amazing. Now, this one doesn't have the super loud mufflers. You know, those coyotes get pretty obnoxious when they got those loud mufflers. But if you wanted loud mufflers, it'd be hard, easy enough to do. But she is, when you lay into it, it is just loud enough. And don't forget, we can ship this baby anywhere in the world. So you just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will tell you how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. And I tell you what, you are going to love this thing. So we're going to head back to the shop where we're going to show you how nice the bottom side looks. We're going to show you that coyote power up front. You know, they rate these things at 460 horse, and I tell you, I just took off. I think it's more than that. You can see down on the dash, it's got the Carroll Shelby gauges in it. I mean, just looking sweet as can be. And what's cool is they're all in the stock location. And I'm driving this thing with no hands. Look at that. Going nice and straight down the road. The brakes feel good. It sounds amazing. The trans feels good. Steering feels good. And we're looking good. So you gotta stick with us. We're gonna go back to the shop right now and get this baby up on the lift so you can see what makes it tick and you're gonna love it. So we're right here at 15100 Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. So stick with us. We're gonna put it up in the air for you right now. And make sure you share this video with your buddies and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stick with us. All right, we're underneath the Mustang now, and man, it is pretty under here. As you can see, it's got a stainless steel tank in it, which is really sharp. And then look at that rear end housing, man. You want to talk about a monster? I believe that's a Fab 9. It is a Ford 9-inch center section. Now, we just rolled it over and counted it, and we're getting right around the 355 gear. You can see the coilovers holding it up. They are adjustable. And then you can see it's all aftermarket suspension back here. And they utilize the front spring pockets with these trailing arms, which are adjustable. Um, then we got the frame ties. We got the upper adjustable arms. There is a, a extra cross member that goes in up here. It's all tied into the frame, looking sweet. And what's really cool is they've tucked this exhaust system up nice and tight. It's all stainless, looking good. The floorboard's got like a uh, bed liner material on it, all looking sweet. I see the parking brake cable up here in the tunnel. It is an electric uh, parking brake setup. Uh, it does have the brake line up in here also. Uh, the, the frame up here looks amazing and the way they tie these uh, frame ties in, uh, which is really cool. It ties in here and continues on up right to the torque box and also ties in there. We got the Tremec 5-speed trans. We've got a cable clutch on this car. We have an explosion-proof bell housing. What's really cool, the uh, pan on this um, Coyote motor, um, I actually had an 18 and I was really surprised. To change your oil is real easy. You just turn this plug by hand, pull it out. Uh, it's got an O-ring on it that seals it up. So it's really cool. You don't even need a wrench to change the oil. Um, you can see the aftermarket cross member in here. Frame's been all beefed up. It's got tubular lower control arms, tubular upper control arms, coilovers holding it up. Disc brakes up front here. I mean, everything under here is looking slick. It's got a big sway bar on it. We got power rack and pinion steering here. Everything's nice and neat. You can see the nose is all in beautiful shape. It looks like it needs to be wiped off. Guys didn't get all the uh, grime off the bottom of it, but just a little wipe that makes that look nice and clean. Um, the computer's mounted right here, which is very cool. Uh, you can get to it very easily, and you don't have to look at it. Um, then we got the GT40 style wheels. These are the American Racing wheels, uh, all polished aluminum. I think earlier in the video I called them chrome, but that's how polished they are. I mean, they're looking like chrome. Now these are Michelin tires. These are Pilot Sport, and the size is 225-40-18s up front. And then that rocker panel, I love it. Now this is the one where they tuck it up nice and tight. Sometimes they hang down quite a bit, but this is tucked up right tight like the stock location. Looking sweet. Looks like the fuel line here. I got it all P-clipped in, looking good. Then of course right here is where the music's coming out, those side pipes. Then out back, man, these things look amazing. Again, Michelin's and um, let's see, where's that size at? Oh, it's up on the top. 
three fifteen thirty. Does that say eighteens or twenties? Eighteens. Uh, then that dish on the wheels looking sweet. Then you can see the Willwood disc brakes in there also. Well, let's lower this baby down and take a look at that Coyote under the hood. Under the hood, this is exactly what you want to see. A Gen 3 Coyote power plant, man, and she is looking sweet. Tell you what, it looks like Mr. Ford put it under there himself. Uh, it's got Hydro Boost on the uh, brake setup here. You can see the cold air setup, the big radiator. Uh, we got electric fans on there, all looking sweet. Uh, the engine cover looking sweet. I mean, just everything about this thing. And wait till you get in this baby and drive it. You're going to be smiling from ear to ear. These Coyotes put out so much horsepower. She is power steering. Uh, just an amazing piece here. You can see all the AC equipment up here all looking sweet. Uh, the condenser, the radiator's aluminum, the condenser's aluminum. All the piping is nice and neat. I mean, they did a beautiful job. And then they put that bed liner material on the bottom side of the hood also. So, I mean, it is slick as can be, guys. She is one beautiful Mustang right here. She's got Coyote power. She's got a five-speed, a slick paint job, beautiful interior. You are going to be, I mean, you're going to be drawing crowds wherever you go. So give us a call at 248-974-9513. And let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your driveway.